Now to our News for Jack's I-Team investigation, auditing bias, looking at who is pulled over by the Florida Highway Patrol. Recently, the FHP audited itself using a sample of traffic stops across the state to see if any particular race is being singled out. So the I-Team dug even deeper, analyzing nearly 3 million stops over the last five years that included the race of each driver and then compared that breakdown to the newest census data. What we found may or may not surprise you. Florida Highway Patrol troopers traffic stops are under the microscope of the agency's inspector general, whose goal is to determine if any race of driver is being targeted on Florida roads. FHP Master Sergeant Dylan Bryan points out that troopers often can't even see the person behind the wheel, but instead they are focused on whether or not the driver is obeying traffic laws. We're stopping a violation. We're stopping the vehicle. In most cases, we don't know or, or at that point can't see who's driving the vehicle when we see the violation occurred. After every stop, the trooper completes a traffic stop data report, recording demographic information about the driver and the outcome of the stop. It's data that can be reviewed by supervisors and others in the highway patrol. Brian says the findings from the Office of the Inspector General is a commitment to full transparency to the public regarding who is being pulled over. The News for Jack's I team did its own analysis of traffic stop data from FHP and found between January 2016 and April 2021 statewide, 48.7% of the stops involved white drivers, 21.6% involved black drivers, 25.3% involved Hispanic drivers, and 1.3% involved Asian drivers. To give you an idea of how that compares to Florida's overall population, the 2020 census found that 51.5% of Floridians are white, 14.5% are black, 26.5% are Hispanic, and 2.9% are Asian. The data reveals that the proportion of stops of African American drivers is higher than their proportion of the population, while the percentage of stops that were white, Hispanic, and Asian drivers were lower than their shares of the population. The News for Jack's I team then looked at just the traffic stops for Troop G, which covers nine Northeast Florida counties, including Duval. 60.2% of the traffic stops were of white drivers, 27% are black, 8.5% are Hispanic, and 1.7% are Asian. Compare that to the 2020 census data for the counties in Troop G, where 60.9% of people are white, 19.8% are black, 10.1% are Hispanic, and 3.8% are Asian. FHP's Inspector General looked at data for troopers in each troop statewide, looking at the gender and race of the driver stopped, as well as the trooper's characteristics. The data is then compared to census data for each trooper's territory. In Troop G, the audit started with nine troopers, all randomly selected. The information that was provided in that audit, you know, from the traffic stop data report, showed some variances in traffic stops of three officers. Those three officers were then looked at a little bit closer. That closer look revealed that two of the three troopers in question were in the contraband interdiction unit, which deals with activities involving illegal drugs. Sergeant Bryan says, unlike troopers on the road, the interdiction unit is working off police intelligence, and they have already identified the suspect before the traffic stop. And sometimes we're requested to make traffic stops on behalf of another agency. Uh, you know, specific information, very detailed information saying, hey, we need that car stopped. FHP leader said they cleared the third trooper in question after a random review of 25 videos taken from the officer's dash camera. Troopers say their investigation revealed there wasn't any bias. If you're stopped by the Florida Highway Patrol, it's not personal. This is something that, you know, that we've noticed a, a hazardous violation, and that's the only thing that we're trying to correct. And as for more evidence that the Florida Highway Patrol reviews traffic stop data, we learned that last year a state trooper here in North Florida was investigated for reporting false information. In fact, the inspector general found he failed to enter multiple traffic stops into the tracking system and others where he didn't actually give the driver a warning, even though he recorded that he had. The trooper was facing dismissal, but resigned first.